Hello, how are we all? Are we ready to make this jumbo camera treat box? Sure we are. It offers generous space for treat. The lens and the dials on the top are interactive. It is guaranteed a fun project to make. The download link is in the description. Once click on the link, a password is needed. The password is in the video. Don't overthink, it is very easy to see. Please don't share the password in comments. Let others have fun finding the password as well. Type in the password and this page will pop out. The design is for personal use only, not for any commercial activities. Click here to go to the download page. There are two Studio 3 files and two SVG files. Studio 3 files are for Camel, SVG files are for Quicker. Download the file you need on your computer or device. Upload the first file Camera 001 SVG into Design Space. Here are all the elements. We are going to change score lines first. Right click on group. Click one item. Go to the right hand side. You can see two layers are selected because they have been grouped together. Choose the top layer only and go to the top. Change the score. Attach. Same as the others. And this little mushroom here, it got score line as well. That's it for all the score line. We'll move those items away. Select those two items. They are for the button on the top. We will need two of them, so select this one and duplicate it. If we want to keep them the same color, that's fine. Here I'm going to change one of them to yellow. Click it. Go to the top, change color to yellow. And this one, if you go to the right hand side, we're going to want to choose the bottom one to change the color. Click to the top, change to yellow. And this little mushroom, we will need six of them. So I'm going to right click, duplicate, that's two, right click, duplicate, duplicate again, that's three. Select three of them, right click, and duplicate. Now we have all six of them. That's all the elements we need for file one. Click make it to continue. So the first page, white one, it is for estate sheet. Make sure you select the material as estate sheet. And second one, all the gray elements, they are the elements that will be hidden inside. You could use cheap white cardstock. The rest are color-coded. So pretty straightforward. Just click continue to cut and set out your material and scoring tool. Here are all the cutouts. We have two big pieces for the camera body. One Aztec sheet circle. Small elements here, including two little rectangle Aztec sheets for the window. Here are the two Aztec sheets. And they are for the lens. Five rings, six mushrooms, five circles. Those two are the sides for the buttons on the top and this is the side for the lens. Use a pen to curl those three pieces. Hold down all the tabs.
Screw two ends together. We apply glue till where the tabs finish. Apply glue here. Same as the last one. Leave that aside to dry. I'm going to clip it to secure it for all the mushrooms. Get four mushrooms and two rings. Put two of these through a ring. Here. It should look like this. Make another one. Now we have two of these. Assemble all those four elements together. What we are going to do is we are going to pull this one, bend back with the tabs on the top, we are going to pull this one into it. Apply glue around the edge here. like this, put it in, put it in like this, the back look like this, and put it on flat surface, use the back of a pen to give it a bit pressure from this side, make sure those two tabs are not glued on. Because we will need it like this later on. Secure all those tabs. Apply some more glue if necessary. The back look like this. Pull back the tabs on the top. Do the same to the other one. Yeah, I applied the glue the wrong side. I'm gonna wipe that off. I should apply glue at the back of the apply glue on this side. Those two stick out, those two legs stick out. Apply glue here, not this side. The back should look like this. Hold the tabs back down. Now we have two of these. We are going to assemble the lens. Get these two pieces, the solar circle and the swirl bit, glue them together. Same as the button before, fold back the tabs on the top. Have the swirl side face up, apply glue here, and we will insert the circle into the tube here. Into it go.
fold the tabs on the top back. So it should look like this. We are going to glue to the excess sheet and the ring together and go to the top. Before I'm going to clean the table a bit because the excess sheets attract glue very easily. So I'm going to see, you can see, usually I use craft mat. And make sure my hands are clean as well before I touch the excess sheet. Glue the ring and the excess sheets together. Glue those together. I'm going to flip it over and give it the pressure from the other side. When we press down, double check the edge align wheel. The lens is down. Get at least two pieces and four other folding lines. This is the front piece, it looks like this. This piece should look like this. This is the back part, and here is the top bit. So we will glue it together later like this. This. Those are the glue tabs. Get the front piece back, and we have two mushroom and this piece, the one with a hole in the middle. You can see there's a circle mark. I'm going to put two mushrooms through and use the mark as glue mark. This piece looks like this. Put the two legs through the hole here. Change around. Get a ring. Put the ring through, push it down the two legs, glue then to the ring. And get a full circle. We're going to seal the back like this. This is a way to secure the tabs at the back. Flip it over, keep it compressed from the other side. It spins like this. Glue those two pieces together. This is a glue tab. Apply glue here. Align it well. It's one side. Same as the other side. Double check the windows are on the same side. So you can see through the window. Now the camera looks like this. We are going to seal the top. We'll tuck in all the tabs in. This bit is a bit tricky. We will have to apply glue to all the glue tabs and tuck in all the tabs like this. We'll apply 
light glue on all the tabs and tuck them in like this. It's gonna be a bit tricky because we have to do it quickly in case the glue dried up. So what I'm going to do is fold the tab in. This way when we tuck it in, it's easier to tuck it in. Fold the tabs in and apply glue quickly and then close the top. Apply glue on all the tabs. Tucking the top and all the tabs. Line well. I'm going to lie it on a flat surface and push my hands inside. This way it's easier to align and grab the glue tabs if they are not aligned well. Push my inside. over it should look like this use your finger to push fine inside if necessary alrighty the camera body should look like this this bit stick out a bit I'm gonna push down that's better this is the first file down we should have a camera body a lens Two half finished buttons on the top, some small elements, and we should still have two rings left and four circles. We will continue cut the second file and assemble them together. Upload the second file camera to your your two into design space. This file is pretty straightforward, we just need to change the score line for all the three elements. Right click and ungroup. Click one item, then go to the right hand side, choose the top layer only, and go to the top, change the score line, click it again and attach. Same as the other two. Click make it to continue. We just need to click continue and send out your material and scoring tool. These are the three pieces for the second files. We will fold the folding lines first. one side like this and there's a glue tab on the top don't forget to fold this one the other side will be same as this one this piece should look like this this is how we fold the first one I forgot here there's another folding behind here This is the first piece look like. Continue for this piece. Second piece should look like this. Later, we'll pull those two pieces together, so this will be top of the camera. For the last piece, This piece should look like this. This is going to be the bottom of the camera. We are going to add on all the decorative panels on the top and the bottom. So we will make two small windows first. Glue an attach window and the frame together. Be 
careful as to get on the excess sheets. I have a wet wipe handy, so I could wipe up the glue anytime. Make another one. Glue one window frame on here. Ooh, another friend here. Get this piece. This piece is the front of the camera top. So the one, no, this one, the window is on the right hand side. If you look middle, if you can see there are marks here, then are continuing lines. They are for position those decorative panels. So we start on the middle one to get the three longer one. Do the middle one first. And the two on the side. Get the bottom piece, there is a like, little curve cut here. You can also see there are some score marks here. Oh, you can see from the camp, yep. Yeah. You can see some score marks here. They are also for position the decorative panel. It goes like this. So we'll glue the middle piece first. all the tabs together. This is the bottom of the camera. Here is something about me. I live in a land down under. That's right, a beautiful country called Australia. This is what Australia looks like. We have some very cute native animals. Hope you will visit Australia one day. Alright, get back to making. Assemble those two pieces together. This piece should look like this. Go those two tabs first. I'm going to assemble those two pieces like this. Make sure the edges align properly. Same to the other side. Cool 
yes. Make sure you align well. Now the last two tabs inside. Samus this side. Give it a good press. This is what the top looks like. We are going to put the buttons on. Put the two legs through here. Grab a ring, go through it. And glue those two legs. from this side if necessary get a white circle apply glue all over seal it Same as the other side, put the two legs through the hole here, Let's see. put the two legs through the hole here, grab a ring, go through, get a white circle, to cover the two legs we are going to pull those two circles on like this and this so pull it on give it a gentle press from this side same as the other one Looking good. Now the top is finished. We are going to put everything together. Apply glue inside of the bottom and we will insert the body in. Put it on a flat surface and put your hand in to press it. Or use the ruler to go in to press. It looks like this. Apply glue here and we will stick the lens on. I'm going to flip it over and give it a gentle press from the other side. The last step is to put the lid on. There you go, the jumbo camera gift box. I use Estee sheet to make this camera. It looks pretty cool, isn't it? We have made another fun project. Hope you like it. Thank you for watching.